Welcome to Tiny Hands Big Dreams here in Southern Ecuador. So I'm going to introduce you to one of our favorite things that we found when we moved here. Uh, when we lived in the States, never seen one of these. It's called a chayote. Um, it's in the squash family, grows on a vine, really easy to grow. It's delicious and you can use it a ton of ways. Um, I'm going to have my wife uh, cut one of these up and show you what's inside of it. And we're going to go ahead and talk about all the delicious ways that you can use this in cooking. If you see it in the store, buy them. They're fantastic. So one of the first things you need to know is how to pick your chayote. Um, this one, we just took off one of our vines and it has definitely gone a little too far. Um, you know, because it has, it has these spikes on it. Um, it's fine. It's definitely still really good to eat, but it won't be quite as soft and you may end up having to peel it. So I'll show you how to peel this one. All right. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take off the end here, which gives you a nice sturdy spot to stand it up, take off the top, and then you just peel it. Now you might be able to use a vegetable peeler. The problem is it's not exactly a flat surface. So I think you'd struggle more with that than just peeling it. It doesn't take long. It's not difficult at all. But if your chayote gets too big and ends up with a tough skin, it's just not pleasant to eat. So then we cut it down the middle and this exposes the seed, which is right in the middle. Now, when I first got these, I'm like, oh, I want to grow them. I tried to take the seed out because that was what my brain thought would be right. Most things you take the seed out. That is not correct. We'll go over how to plant it later, but for now, just cut out the seed. It is technically edible, but it, I don't think it really adds to the experience. So I cut it out. And on the larger ones, it will be tough and incredibly unpleasant. So all that is done. And now, there are multiple ways of cutting this up depending on what you want to use it for. So we use this in multiple different ways. Um, one of my favorite is in a stir fry. Now the nice thing about the chayote is that it holds its texture a lot better than a lot of things like a zucchini. It doesn't get mushy, it doesn't get gross. It stays nice and firm even when you cook it. So I'll cut it up like this. Um, for a stir fry, we love that. The other thing is, you know, I was a little hesitant about it, but I was reading how you could put it in a stew or a soup, which sort of seems strange to me, but it's definitely more like a squash when you do that. So if you cube it up and put it in a soup or a stew, it's really delicious. Again, it doesn't get soft and squishy. It's really nice. Um, you know, our favorite thing to do with it though, is to cut it into big slices, spears, and pickle it. And we have discovered that it is a better pickle than a cucumber. It is our absolute favorite. It stays crunchy. It takes up the brine really well. It's absolutely fantastic. And you can eat it raw. And it's great. So once we realized just how much we love chayote, uh, we asked the, the local woman that sells it at the market, how do we plant this? I had tried to get the seed out of the middle. That did not work because that clearly wasn't the way to do it. So, uh, so she said, just take the whole thing, put it in the ground. Put it in the ground. Okay, well, she knows. She grows it. I'll, I'll try it. Um, lo and behold, it works. So at the bottom, and the chayote hangs like this. And at the bottom, this one was actually growing on the vine. They'll start growing on the vine. The bottom sort of splits open and it starts to grow leaves out of it. And literally all you do is make a small hole in the ground and stick the chayote in upside down. Cover it up and it will grow. And it will grow and grow and grow into a nice long vine. Um, and that's basically it. That's all there is to it. Um, a trellis works really well. We just have it on strings that go straight up and it climbs and climbs and climbs until it hit the roof and then sort of continue to go. Um, it's super easy. I, I think, you know, it's one of those, those things that anyone could grow. I think it's easier than a cucumber. So, you know, if you buy one from a store and it starts growing, stick it in the ground, see what happens. 
So that's Cheote. Uh, it's something we love since we've moved here to Ecuador. Uh, we talk about random things that, that we love about here and things that we're doing and find uh, randomly throughout the week. If you'd like to keep seeing more of these, please like and subscribe, um, and we will we will produce more. We don't get shown a lot on YouTube, so if you want to make sure you see any of our videos, you really have to sort of uh, subscribe to them. So anyway, thanks for watching. That's actually a really good show. Okay. Okay.